So the question asks, what is the density of a woman who floats in fresh water with 4% of her volume above the surface? Okay, um, so there are some information given in the question that you should mark up and make sure you fully get what it means. So fresh water means they're telling us what density the fluid that she is displacing with. So density of fresh water or pure water is equal to, um, oh, I see we are using kilogram per cubic meter units. So let me write that in uh, kilograms per cubic meter. It's a thousand kilogram per cubic meter. Uh, you can watch in lecture uh, why that thousand is right and it's not one or some other smaller number. Um, it has to do with the unit. So, so and the question is saying 4% uh, of her volume is above the surface. Um, and I think this is the kind of word question which can sometimes get people. Um, sometimes some people have a really good um, intuition about problem solving and you won't <laughs> need my help with questions like this, then you can go to the next five minutes. Um, for those of you who might feel a little bit lost, like how, where do you go from here? Let me try to spell out the process that I would go through. So you do need some kind of physical law, some kind of relationship that allows you to set up an equation. And here the relationship I would appeal to is Archimedes principle. So this is what Archimedes principle says. It says, it sets up an equality between two quantities. It sets up an equality between buoyancy force and the weight of the fluid displaced. Now, because this woman is floating in water, you can say that the buoyancy force on her is equal to her entire weight. Because while it's flowing, the upward buoyancy force is the force that's uh, counteracting the force of gravity and keeping her at equilibrium at the surface of the water. So from Archimedes principle, this is what we can set up. We can say that weight of floater is equal to the weight of water displaced. Now, um, if you're just looking at the weight, hence the mass, that then it might sound like it's giving you a lot of um, information like, okay, so the two masses are the same. How does that help me? It helps you get at the density of the woman. So, so, you know, when we have a quantity, and this is uh, one of the reasons I really encourage people to memorize relationships, because sometimes you have to draw connections between them. And all of that is a lot easier when you have it memorized instead of having to look it up in a textbook or whatnot. When you have weight, um, weight is going to be related to mass somehow. And um, I guess before we cover the fluid, before this chapter, we might have to stop there. But now that we are dealing with the fluid, we have introduced the concepts of density and volume. Uh, this mass, it's related. Mass is related to uh, density and volume somehow. And it's uh, this relationship that would be useful because it contains this uh, quantity that you are looking for. So starting with this uh, expression here, that weight of the person who's floating is equal to the weight of water displaced, you can now write down this relationship. The density of the floater or woman times her entire volume because you are looking for her entire weight. So this would be the volume of woman. Uh, I need to spell it out. Uh -huh. That's going to be equal to, that mass will be equal to the mass of the water displaced. So density of water times the volume of water. And as you are looking at this, I hope you count the number of unknowns and, well, you have one equation. You have two unknowns, density of woman and density of water. And this is where you now finally bring in this information that was given in the question. 4% of our volume is above the surface, which means um, the other percent, 
96% over volume is below the surface and displacing water. So from that, we can get this, that volume of water is equal to 96%, 0 0.96 times volume of woman. So uh, plugging this in, you get this uh, relationship, this equation, density of woman is a uh, times volume of her is equal to density of water times uh, 0 0.96 volume of woman. And once you get this far, then the rest is math problem. You just, uh, you have one unknown here that you solve for. And uh, I hope you can do the algebra and work it out. I guess the algebra to this divide out volume of woman from both sides. That'll cancel this out. So we get, oh, density of woman is 96% of density of water. So uh, I think I can actually do that in my head. 96% of a thousand is 960 kilogram per cubic meter. So, so yeah, that's uh, part A. Uh, let me just make sure I got the question right. And then the part B is asking, what percent of her volume is above surface when she floats in seawater? Okay. Um, I think I can use the same equation that I had before. I just have to make appropriate modifications. So, uh, so I'm deleting the erasing the Archimedes principle since I needed it to get started. But once I have the relationship down, then really this mathematical equation is um, what's easier for me to use compared to the word description of Archimedes principle. So what we had was, okay, density of woman times the volume of a woman. I think that remains the same because as long as she's floating, um, I don't have to change the fact. As long as she's floating, I don't have to change the fact that uh, the ent her entire weight is what matters. And, um, and this time I actually know her density. I calculated in A. Um, the density of, okay, so this density we don't know uh, because it's a density of salt. Wait, wait, no, sorry. We do know. So we have density of salt water. Ah, okay. What we don't know is the volume of the salt water that's uh, getting replaced. So, so yeah, I think uh, what I need to do is get rid of this. This is uh, what we had before. So this time I'll just uh, solve for volume of the salt water. So um, so just uh, uh, writing out the expression here. I'm gonna I can solve for the volume of the salt water by dividing um, uh, by dividing both sides by density of salt water. So the volume of salt water is the ratio of density of a woman per density of salt water times the volume of the woman. Uh, let me do this calculation in a calculator. So we have 960 divided by um, 1025. And I'm going to multiply by volume of the woman, but uh, I don't have to, because it's asking the what percent over volume. So I don't need the numerical value of that. So uh, we get, per in percent terms, let me multiply this with, uh, how do I? Hmm. I don't know how to refer to previous calculation result times 100. So in percent terms, it's 93.7%. Uh, and it's not asking what percent over volume is a submerged. It's asking what percent over volume is above the surface. So it's 100 minus this, um, or 6.3%. Uh, let me try that, and there might be some rounding issue. Let me try 6.3%. And if I, uh, okay, it's fine. If it had said it's wrong, then I would have taken just one more significant figure. So when you're taking differences, sometimes, uh, you can lose a significant figure. So, you know, 93.7 had a three sig fix, but 6.3 has only two sig fix. So, um, but it, it says it's fine. So I think we're fine. Um, 
Uh, but depending on the how the number randomly generated for you, if you cut it off here, this might say it's wrong. It's more than off by more than one percent. Then just to, you know include the next digit. So instead of uh, six point three percent, it'll be six point three four percent. So you know hundred minus ninety three point six six. So um, so.